There's a dramatic rise in the number of people with Alzheimer's in this country, and according to the CDC, by the end of 2060, cases among Hispanic Americans in particular are projected to increase sevenfold. NBC News medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal has more. Two years ago, Gustavo Rodriguez, a 68-year-old man from Florida, lost both his parents in a matter of weeks. I was admitted to the hospital with COVID. I got a call in the hospital that my dad passed, so, and I couldn't do anything. I didn't get to see my dad, uh, say goodbye to my dad. His parents, both Puerto Rican, were struggling with the devastating effects of Alzheimer's disease, taking its toll on the entire family. It slowly deteriorates your head, your, your brain, but it was difficult to see my mom and dad slowly disappear. Unfortunately, cases like Gustavo's family are far too common. Currently, about 6 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease and related forms of memory loss. In the coming years, that number is expected to skyrocket to 14 million. By 2060, cases among Hispanic Americans are projected to increase seven times over today's estimates, according to the CDC. Why? Uncontrolled chronic health conditions like heart disease and diabetes, where factors like poverty and access to education may play a role. There may be a genetic component as well. These are samples from patients. These are samples from yes, yes. patients. Dr. Katrina Sellis, an associate scientist at the University of Miami Hussman Institute, is part of a global effort to help fix a lack of diversity in Alzheimer's research. Hispanics, for example, are only 2% of uh, the amount of individuals that are included in Alzheimer's disease genetic research studies. Some of the groups the researchers are looking into are the Cuban and Puerto Rican populations. Using a pool of over 400,000 samples from patients of all different backgrounds, Dr. Sellis and her team have already identified a genetic variant linked to Puerto Ricans, an understanding that could develop treatments for people like Gustavo before it's too late. And it's not just Miami. Researchers at the University of Texas, Austin, have also launched a brand new study to learn why Hispanic adults experience a higher rate of Alzheimer's than white Americans, a potential to develop treatments specifically for Latinos. And as somebody with such a strong history of, of Alzheimer's disease, are you worried about the future? I am, but I try not to think about it. Dr. Akshay Sayal, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.